Good evening. Tonight I'd like to talk to you quickly about a company called Cree. Cree Inc. Relentlessly pursuing disruptive technologies that change industries. So what, or better yet, who is Cree Inc.? Cree Inc. is a market-leading innovator of lighting class LEDs, LED lighting, semiconductor solutions, for wireless and power applications. And their mission is to relentlessly pursue disruptive technologies that change industries. Now some might say, well, what is disruptive? And basically disruptive is like a game changer. So Cree wants to create LEDs and LED technology that are game changers. And I think they've succeeded in that. But first, a little history and milestones. Cree has a lot of firsts. Um, in 1987, they were founded right here in Durham, North Carolina, uh, by five NC State grads and one of their friends who went to some other college. Um, 1989, they created the world's first blue LED. And actually, that's when I first heard of Cree. Uh, my Uncle Bobby told us that there's this, uh, he worked for Raytheon at the time, and he said, there's this new company out there that's making LEDs. And he said, these guys make the blue ones and the green ones that you see in traffic lights. They're going to be big one day. you got to invest in them. Well, we didn't, and I wish we had because they've really done well. Um, 1993, they go public on the NASDAQ, uh, Global Select, under the symbol Cree. Uh, so now they're publicly traded. In 1998, they created a four times amplifier for uh, wireless communications, really big with uh, cellular and military communications. 2006, they created the first lighting class LED. Um, now that's before this, before 2006, LEDs were mainly the, these little dots and blinkers that you see inside of computers and on screens and alarm clocks and things like that. So in 2006, it was a big first because Cree actually created a lighting LED. So the LED's sole purpose is to produce light, not just glow. And then in 2007, they created the first LED lighting fixture. So this would either be one that screws uh, your mounts into the ceiling or you know, the incandescent bulb. In 2009, not an incandescent bulb, an LED bulb. And then in 2009, they created the first IPX5 rated LED. Uh, IPX are the, the standards that they use to determine uh, ruggedness and weather tightness and things like that. So for Samsung to be able to have the LED um, screen that is waterproof, new iPhones, they had to have these IPX ratings. Currently at the helm is Greg Lowe. He is the CEO. Um, he's been there since September of 2017. He's a graduate of Rose Holman Institute, holding a BS in electrical engineering. They did award him an honorary PhD in 2014. He's had 28 years working as a VP uh, at Texas Instruments. He served as president and CEO of Freescale Semiconductor, which is a $5 billion, with a B, dollar company with over 17,000 employees. So this guy has been around the block when it comes to the technical fields like this. And he's held numerous board positions throughout, his, throughout the technology field. A few company statistics. They're headquartered, like I said, here in RTP, North Carolina, with manufacturing in both the U.S., China, Italy, and Hong Kong. They currently employ a little over 6,500 people around the globe. And this annual audit that I'm about to talk about was conducted um, by Price, Price Waterhouse LLP, who's been the company auditor since 2013. Five-year gross net profit. This is in the millions. Back in 2014, they had a profit of $124 million. Pretty good. But they chose to start reinvesting all that money, which is why you see a decline in their profits because they're reinvesting into the company and acquiring more companies and technologies. Um, so as you can see, you know, the net profit has not been very well lately. Stock price five year started up here, you know, in the 75 range and around 2016, it really dipped down to almost 20. Um, but it's been slowly coming back up, and right now it's trading around $56, $60 a share. So Cree is a clear innovator in the technology sector, specifically the semiconductor field. They don't focus just on LED lighting and stuff, but they have another company, uh, Wolfspeed, 
that is all about the semiconductor usage itself and the wireless amplifiers and things like that. Um, they have three distinct product lines involving semiconductors, LED, and then uh, LED lighting. Uh, there's a difference between LED and LED lighting. Um, like I said before, LED is just the small individual LEDs that you might see in the traffic lights, in your computers, things like that, and LED lighting are going to be your bulbs. Um, again, Wolf Speed is their uh, semiconductor branch. They primarily target the military telecommunications with Wolf Speed. Uh, electronic signage for their LED products and LED lighting is going to be general uh, lighting and illumination consumer use. Uh, they've managed to capture about 10% of the LED lighting market share worldwide. That was as of 2013, um, aimed mainly at commercial, residential, and military use. Now these are their lighting products, just a few examples of them, which is what I'm really kind of targeting right now, because um, this is the stuff that we would see, you know, that we would literally see or see by because, you know, these bulbs that are around this room could have Cree LEDs in them. Um, but, you know, you can do the retrofits, the new construction, stuff you'd see in schools, um, and even the screw-in lamps. Um, so the consumer bulbs and lighting they directly compete with Philips Hue uh, and Philips GE and Westinghouse bulbs. Any of the CFLs, the LEDs, or the incandescent light bulb companies are going to compete with them. Uh, they do make a connected smart bulb that directly competes with the Philips Hue. So you can control this one with a smartphone app or with an Alexa or Google Home. Changes colors and moods, you know, all kinds of cool things like that. Uh, they aggressively market through the Home Depot in several online uh, media places. Uh, and they have an active social campaign, social media campaign uh, as well. So the future of Cree, uh, at least their lighting products. Uh, this is from Cree's balance sheet that they uh, talked about. A strong balance sheet and operating cash flow has provided Cree the ability to invest by growing their portfolio through acquisitions of other segments. Uh, they recently acquired more parts of other companies in the semiconductor field to assist Wolfspeed, um, and they're constantly looking for other ways, smaller acquisitions that you know they can use to make their portfolio stronger. The green culture demands that we as a society leap forward in saving not only energy and environmental costs, but money when it comes to spending on your electrical bills. Um, Society desires Cree products because of both the energy conservation and uh, cost savings. Uh, they want to grow revenue and increase margins, improving product quality, investing in our channel relationships, improving execution, delivering innovative lighting solutions focused on higher specific specifications and intelligent features. So they want to give us what we want. You know, people want smartphone apps to control their light bulbs. Cree's giving it to them. They want bulbs that cost pennies a year to run. They're making that happen. You know, they don't want to just have screw-in bulbs. They want bulbs that can be in a shop and light up my workbench. They want bulbs that can be underneath the, the benches or behind your televisions and, and create mood lighting. Um, Cree is doing all of that. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions?